I recently ordered four different panel meters that I plan to use in various projects. I haven't decided which one will go to which project, so I am making this video to compare and review the various features these panel meters have. Projects where I might use these include a linear lab power supply and an analog dummy load, so I'm interested in various things like uh, the display size, the accuracy, uh, the measuring functions, etc. Let's start with this OLED panel meter. I think this one is the 0.96 inch version, so it's quite a small panel meter altogether. You might see the um, screen flickering, but it's just the uh, camera picking that up. It looks uh, nice in real life. It measures about 45 by 26 millimeter and it has plenty of measuring functions. It has a range of uh, 0 to 33 volts, 0 to 3 amps, but I think you can get it configured for other ranges as well because, well, it's just a matter of uh, different value resistors on the PCB. So I'm sure the Chinese guys can do that. It's important to note this thing can measure down to 0 volts because it's got uh, separate power and sense lines for the voltage and uh, it will need 4 to 20 volts DC on its separate power line just to supply just to supply power to the meter and if you keep that stable and separate from your actual measurement line you will get the most of the, out of this meter it will do power measurement capacity measurement energy measurement time measurement and temperature measurement so as you can see you get quite a lot of info and functionality from this panel meter but unfortunately it's all cramped onto this very small less than one inch display this meter might be perfect if you're trying to build something compact uh, like a small portable device or if you're only checking the values once in a while but it's definitely not suitable for a bench instrument that you want to see often and quickly observe the measured values let's see what kind of update rate it has i'm going to quickly vary the uh, voltage i'm applying So it seems to me like it's got something around 4 updates per second maybe, which is okay for a power supply or dummy load front panel and for most applications in general. We're not building any multimeters here, so we don't need super fast update speeds. The display has good contrast, but if you get direct light on this screen, you will get reflections from this glossy protection glass, like I'm doing right here with, uh, with a flashlight, and it's well known OLEDs tend to fade in direct light, so I would not recommend this panel meter for any kind of outdoor measurements. It will barely be visible. And it's also worth mentioning this button uh, on the front panel can be used to reset the uh, energy uh, and capacity counters. Another advantage of this meter is the price. You can get this thing for about $10 with free shipping. Our next meter is more a battery meter than a panel meter and it's intended for measuring batteries. It has four terminals, two which are used to connect to the battery and another two for the actual load that will be powered through this meter from the battery. This doesn't have separate power leads so it's powered from the battery or the input terminals. If the battery goes below 2.8 volts the meter will shut down. That's why the measurement range starts from 2.8 and goes up to 30 volts. It will only measure voltage, current and load resistance and that's probably just a simple relation of uh, voltage and current calculated inside the microcontroller. It also has a capacity indicator and the backlight function. There is a small push button accessible from the back that when short pressed let me demonstrate that. We'll turn on or off the backlight. If you do a long press, it will allow you to configure the battery capacity indicator. You can set a low and a high threshold for that indicator. Then the meter auto scales internally the indicator. So that's a nice feature because you can have the bar graph working for different uh, voltages and uh, different batteries. What's annoying is the backlight default off that cannot be changed. 
it would have been nice if that could have been changed same way you change the capacity bar graph thresholds because the push button on the back is not easily accessible as you saw I had to use a screwdriver to push it so they could have at least placed the button on the front there is plenty of space in this left side right here the resolution is uh, 0 0.1 volts and 0 0.1 amps and the accuracy plus or minus 2% so nothing special uh, on these uh, specs. The display is quite nice with the backlight turned on. Uh, about the same width as the OLED meter, but slightly less in height. It has good contrast and the slot size for this meter would be 22 by 47 millimeter. The meter is kind of specially designed for a purpose, that is a battery indicator. So it's all up to you to decide if this is any good for your project but it doesn't seem all that useful for a power supply or dummy load project, at least not for my requirements. Our next meter is this dual 7 segment display model VAM9020. It's made by uh, Ming He company. We've seen this name before, it's all over eBay and Banggood. They make a bunch of DC to DC power supplies, but I haven't played with any of those so far. This meter can measure voltage, current, power and capacity and also time and it can do all of these at the same time even if it only has two lines to display data. The trick is you can configure each line for one of these four measurements. So for example I can switch, I can switch the first line to display the voltage, the power, the uh, amps, uh, the capacity, the time and I'm back to volts same thing goes for the second line I can configure it for any of the four measurements that's awesome flexibility so any two measurements can be seen at the same time while the others run in background you can switch between them as you please using these arrow keys on the front this meter has a voltage range of 0 to 90 volts and the current range of 0 to 20 amps which covers basically most projects you're going to build at home it's likely you'll never build a power supply that goes more than 90 volts DC and 20 amps as a hobby project. But I'm pretty sure you can get these with different ranges as well. The resolution is okay also. 10 millivolts under 10 volts and 100 millivolts above that. That's because of the uh, three digit limit. And the accuracy is at 1% for the more voltage measurement and 2% for the current measurement. The size is about 72 by 40 millimeters and the 7 segment displays have good brightness but not excellent. They are certainly not as bright as the ones from my HP power supply for example. And that is probably a limitation of these uh, lower cost 7 segment displays used in Chinese projects. But still more visible in direct, in direct bright light when compared to the previous OLED meter. For example, if I shine a torch at this display, it's still quite visible. This meter also has a calibration function, which is accessible by long pressing the middle button labeled out. The calibration will allow you to adjust for the voltage and current measurement or to reset to factory defaults. All of this is explained in the user manual, which surprisingly is quite okay, uses good English when compared to other user manuals. So this Ming He company clearly has more experience with producing and selling these modules. So far this seems to be the best choice for a dummy load or power supply front panel. And the last panel meter that we're going to take a look at is physically the biggest out of this set and it comes with an LCD display with blue backlight. The model number is PZEM031. It offers voltage, current power and energy measurements for a voltage range of 6 to 100 volts and 0 to 20 amps DC, all visible at the same time on this LCD display. It has a push button accessible on the front panel, but you can't really push it using just your finger. You're going to need something to get in there and push this thing. So as you can see, a short push will uh, control the backlight with um, uh, on off. With a 3 second press you can enter a menu where you can set the voltage alarm thresholds and with a 5 second press you can clear the energy meter total. The alarm feature is quite interesting. You first configure a low and a high threshold and when the meter goes um, 
below or above those thresholds, it will give you a visual indication by flashing the backlight. So let me demonstrate that. I believe right now it is set for uh, 10 volts, so when it will go below 10 volts, you can see the uh, display backlight is flashing and also the voltage measurement is flashing to indicate uh, an alarm condition. A buzzer would have been nice as well for this function when considering the uh, true intended uh, purpose for this panel meter for monitoring some voltage. The resolution is okay, you get 10 millivolts, 10 milliamps resolution, full range, which is better than the other panel meters we have, we have looked at today. No info on the accuracy except that it is a class 1 instrument, so uh, they are really uh, considering this as a panel uh, instrument, uh, giving it a class uh, precision rating, and it doesn't seem to offer any calibration menu. I guess the biggest downside for this meter is the fact that it only works down to 6 volts. That's because it uses a two-wire connection, taking power from the sense line. So let me demonstrate that. If we go to 6 volts, this meter will probably reset and shut down. Yeah, so it doesn't operate. I suspect there is like a, a 5 volts internal uh, regulator and uh, it has a dropout voltage so it, it can't really sustain uh, all of this system. The micro probably works below that but as you can see the backlight and the LCD contrast goes away as soon as you go below 6 volts. Opening the panel meter and hacking a wire for supplying an external 5 volts would probably make the meter work down to 0 volts. Removing this limitation and then it would be the best out of the four we examined today because of the 10 mV resolution full range and the fact that you get four measurements displayed at the same time on a nice big LCD display. Another downside is the very slow update rate. Uh, I think it's one refresh per second. As you can see I am varying the voltage on my power supply right now and we're practically getting less than one update per second. So I don't know, considering all advantages and disadvantages for uh, a power supply, I, I, would think I, would, I think I would go with any of these um, two modules. They're pretty much the same thing. I could go with uh, this one for increased resolution over the full range for a power supply and use this one for a dummy load. Unfortunately, none of these two offer a temperature measurement as did the OLED meter that would have been nice because I could have extended that thermistor with wires and placed it next to the power transistor on the heatsink. That way I would have an indication of the actual temperature. There are several other panel meter models out there but most of them offer just voltage and current measurements and, just, and that's just not enough for my taste. What I would love to see is one of these meters with a 1.8 inch or 2.2 inch TFT and all the basic measurements, voltage, current, power, capacity, temperature, with the ability to configure a on-off fan output based on the temperature measured on the thermistor. Do you know if something like this exists? I tried searching but I couldn't find any panel meters that use the TFT display. Something like this would be awesome for so many power supply projects or DIY dummy loads and it should be a great open source project. I would love to work on something like this but unfortunately lately I've been busy and haven't worked on my own projects either. And I know some of you have been asking about my dark load project but it's in a state where the analog section hasn't been fully tested and the firmware doesn't offer much functionality other than for testing some of the onboard stuff. So as always, links for these items will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and I will see you next time.